Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about knee wraps. Do you need them when squatting? Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to stick around to the end of this video. Find out how you can reach me with your questions and or comments. So in this video, I'm going to talk knee wraps. I'm going to share my story and you guys can make up your own mind whether you should use knee wraps when you're squatting um, or maybe even on the leg press if you guys do leg presses. I started squatting in 1986. Um, that's 28 years ago for you guys keeping score at home. Until about four years ago, I didn't use knee wraps at all. It generally wasn't a, an issue until I really started getting into powerlifting and I started uh, pushing for real heavy weights using uh, training weights above 85%. After I started pushing for this heavier uh, weight on the bar, when I started using this heavier style of training, I began picking up frequent hamstring strains. Now this would happen 30, 40, 50 percent of workouts. They were very minor strains, but they still prevented me, um, you know, from being 100 percent confident the next week. I would have to be very cautious when I approached my next workout. And they usually went away very quickly. Not all the strains I picked up prevented me from squatting heavy the following week. But I was always conscious, conscious, I was always aware that there was a strong likelihood I was going to pick up a hamstring strain. And like I said, this I would pick one up 30, 40, 50 percent of the weeks. Uh, many times the following week, I'd come back and squat and I'd feel fine and ready to go. But still mentally, I'd always be worried that I, there was a strong likelihood I would pick up a strain. About three, four, five years ago or whatever, I start, I picked up a pair of Ricky Dale Crane knee wraps. And you can Google uh, Ricky Dale Crane and the knee wraps are, are a, a good introductory light wrap. I started using these wraps and a funny thing happened. My hamstring strains completely disappeared. Overnight, immediately, I haven't had one since. I haven't had a hamstring strain since I started using knee wraps. So they went from commonplace to never having them again. Um, I did, the same thing happened with wrist strains when I started using wrist wraps. The, those disappear, disappeared as well. But the wrist wraps are, um, topic is for another video. But anyway, like I'm saying, I started using knee wraps and my hamstring strains disappeared. So I am a firm believer that there, there is a, a great amount of benefit to using knee wraps. Even if you aren't picking up strains currently, even if you aren't picking up strains currently, the added support they're going to provide um, to the knee area and the, the joints and the tendons and the muscles and the ligaments, everything in the knee area, to me are, are well worth it. The benefits outweigh the negatives. If you're going to be lifting until you're an old guy, and I plan on squatting till I'm 70 years old, and if you want to be like me and fitness is your lifestyle, and you want to make it a lifelong endeavor, then I recommend taking precautions and providing your body with that little extra support and using knee wraps. The benefits far outweigh the negatives. The cost is minimal. Um, so I strongly recommend if you're on the fence, at least get a light wrap like the ones I mentioned from Ricky Dale Crane. Give them a try and see what you think. Now, if you're going to introduce knee wraps in your training, there's a couple levels you can do it. I recommend there are light wraps like the Ricky Dale Crane two and a half meters. They're not super tight like the powerlifting wraps, um, like the extreme powerlifting wraps um, from Anderson Powerlifting or other reputable knee wrap companies. When I squat, I use the Ricky Dale Cranes for my warm up sets because I can keep them on throughout my warm up sets. And then when I do my working sets, I use the real heavy reps, uh, real heavy wraps, the Anderson knee wraps. Now, you don't need to rush out and get two sets of wraps. If you're just a recreational lifter who wants big, big quads, um, big legs, who, or who likes to squat, or who likes to squat, or you're not, you know, you, you like strength training, but you're not really sure you need the super heavy wraps, um, then just get the lighter wraps like the Ricky Dale Crane two and a half meter wraps. Like I said, you can pretty much keep those on for multiple sets. I don't cinch those super tight. I just get a good snug fit. They provide enough support just like that. 
So guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, there is a link below. Come on over, ask me any questions you want on strength training, muscle building, diet, nutrition, supplementation, motivation, and I'd be glad to help. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.